Julian. Julian, come in. Answer me, you son of a bitch. Julian is no longer with us, Afflict. But obviously, you didn't know that, now did you? Master Reggie. I'm a reasonable man, Afflict, but only in certain situations. I demand answers. I'll make this brief then, sir. We didn't want you to know, but there are two trespassers here on the academy grounds. Some blonde kid and a fat boy. Julian said he would intercept them at the obelisk blue dorm and told me to wait for his signal. He and I agreed I'd take care of the fat boy and that he would take care of the blonde. Well, considering Julian's signal vanished without a trace, it means that he didn't defeat the blonde. Afflict, I don't need two random kids interfering with the plan. Do I make myself clear? Loud and clear, Master Reggie. Good. Too bad for Julian that he will not be missed. I hated his cheating tactics. That's the reason why he was the weakest of all the Chaos Knights. I'm surprised we didn't just get rid of him sooner. Oh well, that's behind us now. Now get to the Obelisk Blue dorms and take care of those trespassers. I will not fail you, Master Reggie. And I'll inform both Eve and Grimoire about the trespassers as well, just to be on the safe side of things. You better not fail me, Afflict. Because if you do, your dual energy is next. The secret side of me, I never let you see. I keep the keys, but I can't control it. Just stay away from me, the pieces of me. I feel the rage and I just can't hold it. It's touching on the walls, in the closet, in the halls. It comes away and I can't control it. I'd sure like to know what in the name of Ra we just saw happen. Honestly AJ I wish I had an answer, but I'm just as confused as you are. When we find Austin, I really hope that he's got a really really good explanation. I will be the one making the demands and asking for explanations around here, you got that? Oh you have got to be joking me, and who are you supposed to be hothead? Watch who you are calling a hothead blondie. The name is Afflict, and I demand to know what you two have done with my partner, Julian. Julian? Your partner? Okay, so you two are buddy-buddy and are working together. In that case, before we answer as to what happened to Julian, would you care to explain why your friend was talking all sorts of whack? When Julian confronted me and my best friend here, he said some stuff about dual energy being drained, and something about me ceasing to exist. Yeah, no shit, that's how we operate. Julian wasn't just talking random nonsense out of his mouth. Everything he said was all true. You see Blondie, when you duel the Chaos Knights, you put everything on the line. The Chaos Knights? That spells bad news already. The sound of dual energy being drained also raises some serious concerns. And when you mean everything on the line? I mean everything. Your dual energy, your very life force. You lose and it's game over. We play for keeps. Not that you two will ever get to tell anyone about this. Fat chance of flick, you can't stop us. Oh, and don't bother looking for Julian. He challenged me to a duel, and I defeated him. After that, he exploded, vanishing without a trace. So, you somehow managed to defeat Julian. Just so you know, it takes more than an ordinary duelist to defeat a Chaos Knight. And since you took down Julian, that just gives me even more of a reason to kick your ass. The truth though Blondie is that while you may have defeated my comrade, Julian was the weakest of our group. Against me, both you and your fat friend over there do not stand a single chance. Your dual energy will be drained. I can promise you that. And you know what else. I say that we make this duel a little more interesting. I do not like the sound of that one bit, at all. I'm coming at you with everything I got Blondie. I activate a berry and chaos field. Oh, what field? Jace, look out. 
AJ wait what are you doing? Dueling in your place to kick some ass. How noble of you, pushing your friend out of harm's way to duel in his place. But it was also extremely foolish. Yeah, well Jace already took out your partner in crime, and now it's my turn to step in and do my part, to take you out. How funny. Many of the Duel Masters Duel Academy students I dueled had the same determination and confidence as you. Duo Masters Duel Academy students? You and Blondie must have immediately noticed that the entire area was deserted, did you not? There was not a single student or teacher in sight anywhere on the campus. It's almost as if they all got drained of their dual energy. You mean to tell me that? Afflict Julian and their Chaos Knight group are the reason the academy is deserted. To think it only took myself, Julian, and two of our other Chaos Knights to take down almost everyone here at the academy. We expected a challenge, but instead we got dual energy from each and every single one of our victims we took down. Unfortunately for the Chaos Knights, there's still one student at large somewhere out here on campus who has managed to evade our capture somehow. He's the Academy's top ranking student, but it does not matter where he's hiding. We will find him and take him out. Afflict has to be talking about Austin. Nobody does better in duels here at the Academy than him. I can see it in your eyes. You are eager to get our duel started. So am I. But first, it's important I explain what this chaos field we are in does. It's fairly simple. Whichever one of us loses the duel, loses all of their duel energy and their life force, which is drained completely until there is nothing left. You were kidding when you said you guys play for keeps. Then it's a good thing I am not no pushover. You are going down a flip. Too bad all of your life points will get burned up all the way down to zero before you'll have any chance of defeating me. You won't survive at least three of my turns. It's, it's time, time to, to duel. duel. I will go first in this duel. And I'm starting off hot with the spell card, Bonfire. I get to add a level four or lower pyro type monster to my hand. I choose Volcanic Trooper. Next, I summon Volcanic Trooper and then immediately activate its first special ability. That will add a Volcanic Blaze Accelerator from my deck to my hand. And then I will use Trooper's second ability. All I have to do is discard Volcanic Rimfire from my hand into my graveyard. And then after that, one bomb token is summoned to your field. Since it got sent to my graveyard, I activate one of my Rimfire's effects. By banishing Rimfire from my graveyard, I can choose another Volcanic Monster in my deck other than Rimfire and deposit it into the graveyard. Next, I activate the spell card Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. Activating it by sending the original Blaze Accelerator from my deck to my graveyard. Once per turn, Volcanic Blaze Accelerator allows me to special summon one Volcanic Monster from my hand onto the field. I'll use that effect right away and special summon Volcanic Counter. Then I use Volcanic Blaze Accelerator's additional effect. I send a second Volcanic Rimfire from my deck to my graveyard and destroy one monster you control. Oh, and as a nice little bonus, you take 500 points of damage because that bomb token was destroyed. Then, because it once again got sent to the graveyard, Rimfire's effect will be activated. This time, I get to use its other effect, letting me banish the Blaze Accelerator currently in my graveyard and activate the Continuous Trap Volcanic Accelerator Reload from my deck. I activate the effect of my Blaze Accelerator Reload. I send one Volcanic card from my hand to the graveyard, then draw one new card from my deck. Now I will banish three Volcanic Monsters from my graveyard to special summon my strongest Volcanic Monster, Volcanic Emperor. Now for the best part. You take 500 points of damage for every banished Pyro-type monster. Aw, fun. Son of a bitch, that's painful. It's only going to get worse. Volcanic Emperor also lets me set my trap card, Volcanic Inferno, from my deck onto the field. 
But I'm still not done because next, I'm going to use level 3 Volcanic Trooper and Volcanic Counter in order to build the overlay network. I Xyz Summon, Mech Quipped Engineer. This opening field is perfect. Now let's see if you can try stopping me. It's your move, Fat Boy. The name's AJ, not Fat Boy. You're about to regret what you just said. I'll start my turn with Resonator Call. The spell lets me add a Resonator from my deck to my hand. I'll chain by activating one of my set cards. Burial from a different dimension. I put three of my banished volcanics back in the graveyard. If you're done, I will add my red resonator to my hand through resonator cause effect. Done? I'm not done, because burial from a different dimension put one of my rimfires back in the graveyard, and that will let me activate its effect. I rebanish rimfire, and once again say goodbye to another volcanic card in my deck. Hey, I'd like to play more of my own cards, thank you very much. Anyway, I activate another spell card, Pot of Desires. I banish the top 10 cards of my deck, face down. After that, I draw 2 new cards from my deck. Next, I normal summon Red Resonator. And now that I've got a Fiend Tuner on my field, I can also special summon Wandering King Wild Wind from my hand. Hot 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 hot. Okay what the heck was that? It is very simple my foolish friend you triggered Volcanic Emperor's last special ability. As long as Emperor stays on my field, you automatically will take 500 points of damage every time you special summon. Oh, that's just great. I'm getting penalized for all my special summons. Those 500 points for each time are going to add up very fast. I am not taking the risk. Time to kick this duel into overdrive. I tune level two red resonator with level four wild wing. I Synchro Summon. Come on out, level 6, Red Rising Dragon. I use its special ability. When it's Synchro Summon, Red Rising can resurrect one resonator that's in my graveyard. Now to get back some of those life points I lost, by activating Red Resonator's special ability since it was special summoned. So you can gain a ton of life points? Yes, yeah, sorry, but that's not gonna happen on my watch. I activate the trap card, Volcanic Inferno. By banishing Volcanic Trooper from my graveyard, you take 500 points of damage. Oh yeah, and because I banished a Volcanic, my Volcanic Inferno also completely negates Red Resonator's effect. You asshole, I was going to use those life points. Fine, then I won't waste another second, I tune level 2 red resonator with level 6 red rising dragon. The heaven and earth shall tremble before the king's might, let the power of the true supreme ruler, be carved into your soul. I synchro summon. Now rise, starlight red dragon archfiend. You're in trouble now, Afflict. Especially since Scarlet is on my field, because that allows me to activate this Scarlet Security. Destroying all of your spell and trap cards, now say goodbye to them all. In that case, before I'm forced to part ways with my spell and traps, I'll use the effect of Blaze Accelerator Reload one last time, sending another Volcanic card in my hand to the graveyard to draw one card. And now, the effect of my Volcanic Scattershot activates. Since it was sent to my graveyard by the effect of a Blaze Accelerator, I'm allowed to send two more Scattershots in my deck to the graveyard and destroy all monsters on your field. You have got to be kidding me. It gets worse. Anytime a Volcanic Scattershot goes to the graveyard, 500 of your life points go up in flames. I think it's blatantly obvious that you're making your defeat in this duel way too easy for me. Too bad for you then that I'm about to turn the tides of this duel in my favor. From my hand, I activate Monster Reborn. 
fight again at my side, Scarlet Red Dragon Archbeam. It's your turn to feel the heat afflict, I activate Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend's special ability. It destroys all other monsters with equal or fewer attack points, and you take 500 points of damage for each monster that perished by its flames. That's not happening either, I activate Mech Equipped Engineer's special ability. By using one overlay unit, I switch it to defense mode, and now for this turn, it can't be destroyed by battle or effects. Seriously? Fine. On to plan B. Since there's a Synchro on the field, I special summon Synchro and Resonator from my hand. Well now you've sealed your own fate, one more special summon, and you are finished. It's all or nothing from here. My level 1 Synchro and Resonator tunes level 8 Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. I Synchro Summon. Now rise, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Game over, Volcanic Emperor's effect automatically activates again. Not this time, I activate Abyss's special ability. Once per turn it can negate the effects of any face-up card on the field until the end phase. I'll use that effect right away, on your Volcanic Emperor, which means I don't take 500 points of damage, and which also means I'm still in this duel. But for how long before those remaining life points get burned? Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, Attack Volcanic Emperor. It's only 100 life points, that doesn't scare me. But since you did inflict battle damage to me, Volcanic Counter's effect automatically activates in my graveyard, banishing itself and inflicting you the same amount of battle damage I took. I set the last two cards in my hand face down, and then, have to end my turn. Come on man, you can do this. At least, I hope you can. My turn once again. I draw. First things first, I banish my three Volcanic Scattershots from my graveyard, and once again Special Summon Volcanic Emperor. Since it was Special Summon, I activate Volcanic Emperor's effect to inflict 500 points of damage for every one of my banished Pyro-type monsters. Doesn't take a math genius to know that that's more than enough to wipe out my life points, but I'm not letting that happen. I activate one of my face down cards, the Trap Red Carpet. Then in response to Red Carpet's activation, I activate Abyss's special ability, targeting Volcanic Emperor and negating its effects this turn, meaning that I won't take damage from its effect upon its summon. Now for Red Carpet, it lets me special summon up to two resonators from the graveyard when a Dragon-type Synchro is on the field, so return again, Red Resonator and Synchron Resonator. Now for Red Resonator's effect. I target Abyss, and gain life points equal to its attack. Wow, you're even stupider than I thought. You played way too cautiously, and now it's gonna come back to bite you hard in the ass. Wait, what are you talking about? I activate Blaze Accelerator Reloads effect from my graveyard. I banish it, and send the third and final copy of Volcanic Rimfire from my deck to the graveyard. And as you already know, this in turn will trigger Volcanic Rimfire's graveyard effect. I banish Volcanic Blaze Accelerator from my graveyard, and activate a second copy of Blaze Accelerator Reload from my deck. But I'm pretty happy with what I have in my hand. I'm sending Blaze Accelerator Reload to my graveyard, which counts as a Tri-Blaze Accelerator. Now I can summon out an old classic. Erupt Volcanic Doomfire. And last but certainly not least, I activate the spell card, Rank Up Magic Baryon's Force. Oh, shit. I rebuild the overlay network with my rank 3 mech equipped engineer. The forces of chaos push this mechanized soul beyond its limits, turning it into a war weapon of total destruction, where nothing will be left in its wake. Go chaos exceeds evolution. Bring your weaponry of annihilation. Chaos exceeds mech equipped Jin and general. When my Chaos Exceeds hits the field, I'm allowed to switch one of your monsters from defense to attack mode. That's not good. No, it's not. 
volcanic doom fire, destroy his pathetic synchron resonator. I activate my second trap card, Wall of Disruption. All monsters on your field in attack mode lose 800 attack points for every monster you control. Doomfire, continue your attack. Hot enough for you? Just wait. Hey, what just happened? My Doomfire's effect is what just happened. When Doomfire destroys a monster in battle, all your other monsters are also destroyed, and you take 500 points of damage for each of those destroyed monsters. Volcanic Emperor attack AJ's life points directly. Now mech quip Jin in general, it's your turn. Attack his life points directly. Go Chaos Air Raid. Activate Jin and General's special ability. By using one Chaos Overlay unit whenever it inflicts battle damage, I can blast you with an extra 1,000 points of damage. Fire and General with Chaos Blast Barrage. AJ, don't worry, I'll be fine. Now you're just lying to yourself, especially considering you're in Sparks for game territory now. I've done more than enough damage to you. I'll end my turn. I will not lose to you. I draw. I activate the spell, Pot of Avarice. I return five monsters in my graveyard back into my deck. Then, I draw two new cards. I couldn't have asked for two better draws. I normal summon the Tuner Monster, Morph King Stigigel, in attack mode. I then activate his effect, targeting your Volcanic Emperor. I gain life points equal to Emperor's level times 200, and my Morph King's level becomes the same as Volcanic Emperor's, until the end phase. Which is great for me because it lets me activate my spell card, Advanced Draw. Now that Stygigel is a level 8 monster, I can tribute it, and draw two more cards from my deck. Next, I activate another spell card, Return of the Dragon Lords. This lets me special summon a level 7 or 8 dragon from my graveyard. And there's only one dragon that I want. Scarlight, the Dragon Archfiend. And now that Scarlight is back, I activate his special ability. I destroy all monsters you control for fewer attack and deal 500 points of damage for each destroyed monster. Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend, let him have it. Molten Crimson Flare. I set one card face down and end my turn. So you got a little lucky. It doesn't change this duel's outcome. I banish Volcanic Rocket, Rimfire, and Doomfire from my graveyard. Volcanic Emperor, return once again. And upon summon, I activate Volcanic Emperor's effect. That move still will not work, because I activate my face down card, Fiendish Chain. Volcanic Emperor can't attack, and its effects are negated as long as this trap card is on the field. That fat brat is really pissing me off now, but no matter, because on my next turn, he's done for. I end my turn. I can't let a flick get another turn. I have to end this duel, now. All right, here we go. I draw. This duel is over. I summon the tuner monster, Chain Resonator. I activate Chain Resonator's effect. Since there is a synchro on the field, special summoning another resonator from my deck. And I choose this resonator, my double resonator. Those two tuner monsters aren't going to. Oh shit! Now you're starting to catch on. My level 1 chain resonator, and level 1 double resonator, both double tune level 8 scarlight red dragon archfiend. The king, and the devil, they cross here and now. 
touched the heart of the Crimson Dragon, and raised the roar of creation itself. Burning Synchro Summon Bow down and tremble in terror, before the all-powerful, Tyrant Red Dragon Archfiend. I activate Tyrant Red Dragon Archfiend's special ability, letting it destroy every other card on the field. Do it Tyrant. Nuke. The. Field. No no no, this is impossible. I've been in control of this entire duel from the start. Not anymore. Tyrant Red Dragon Archfiend, end this duel. Infernal Crimson Hell Tide. Spare me Master Reggie. Spare me. Hey. Um, hey. Did, did you just get teleported out of that weird field? Sure looks like it. Okay, hang on. Let me see if I've got this right. A chaos field gets activated. You duel in the chaos field where the risks are high and all bets are off. The loser of a duel inside the chaos field gets drained of their duel energy, which in turn also ends up draining their life force. The winner gets teleported out of the chaos field to safety once the duel is over, and then the chaos field vaporizes and vanishes into nothing. Honestly, the way you did your breakdown, while trying your best to describe how the chaos field works, is probably as accurate as you're going to get. Hey, what's wrong? That duel with a flick took more of a toll on me than I thought. I feel exhausted. My guess is that it's probably from all that burn damage you kept constantly taking. Hey Jace, hey AJ, long time no see. Austin. Yep, that's my stone cold name, don't wear it out. You both should come with me, we have got to talk. Talking loud. 